Good to know that you're saving and you're in your right mind. You know, I got saved back in 1986. You know, it's all, it, we all know that it's important to remember when we got saved, amen? Amen. 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 It, it, that day, I, you know, I go back to that day so much. Um, uh, I got saved in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, this young lady walked up to me. Uh, I was attending, I was uh, attending school with, she asked me, she said, uh, do you know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Yeah. Um, I say, well, you know, I go to church and this and that, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm a fairly good person. And then she began to tell me, like rebuke me, there's none good. There's, there's, there's not one good. She said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. And the wages of sin is death, but the gifts of God is eternal life. Make a long story short, you know, she, she kept, she kept uh, trying to invite me out, and I kept kind of like not rejecting her, but pushing her off, yeah, saying, yeah. right now, it's really not the time. You know, you know, and I was out in the world, you know, uh, uh, chasing, uh, chasing the women and doing all these things, uh, yeah, ungodly yeah, yeah, things and this yeah, and that. Yeah. But it's like, I felt that she was kind of like pushing in on me, you know. Mm. But God, I tell you, I went back to my dorm and, um, you know, where I was going to school in Albuquerque. And I, I went back to my dorm and the Holy Spirit began to deal with me. Yeah. He said, today you hear my voice, heart not your heart. Yeah. You know, he said, heart not your heart. And I said, okay, Lord, what are you saying? I'm like, okay, what are you saying? You know, I'm just, and it was a strange appearance. And I knew it was the Holy Spirit. Because our words impacted my life and had power. And I know God was saying a day is a day for salvation. Yeah. And I had to make a decision. You know, I, was at that, I was at that crossroads. Yeah. And uh, make a long story short, she uh, approached me again, you know. And um, she uh, was like, well, we, uh, we showing a movie at the church, at the Potter's house. That's where I got saved at. And I'm like, okay. She said, I said, I said what the movie's about? It's about the second coming of Christ. I said, I'd like to see it. But it's called A Distant Thunder. Most of y'all probably seen that movie, A Thief in the Night, you know. And, uh, and so, make a long story short, I got saved at that church and the pastor preached and I did. I gave my life to Christ and haven't been the same since then. Jesus changed me and he set me free and I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that experience and I'll never forget that moment. Amen. And the Holy Spirit came in, in my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He came in my life and he touched me and he saved me. And he set my feet on solid ground. And I know that I'm going to heaven and I'm not going to hell. And it's good to know that you're not going to hell because, you know, the Bible says the thief only comes but to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said that I came that you may have life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. And that the wages of sin is death and the gifts of God is eternal life. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I tell you, saints, we're on the best side. We're on the best side Amen. of the road. Because it ain't nothing out there. Amen. Ain't nothing like that. I mean, your life could blink out in a second. I mean, if you don't have Jesus, it's like, where are you going to spend eternity? Hell or heaven. There ain't no purgatory. There ain't no neutral ground. There is no, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know, all these false myths. But hey, it's Jesus. It's either, it's either Jesus, heaven or hell, one or the other. Amen? Amen. Amen. But anyway, um, I just want to believe God. And, and uh, I got some, uh, God gave me some uh, good word tonight. Amen. A minister. Amen. I won't be before you that long. I just thank God. Thank you, God. Thank God for uh, Pastor Solomon. Amen. And I, this is going to be my last time. And, and uh, I just felt that God wanted me and my wife, Toya, too. It's toy right here. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so it's seed, you know. And uh, I say, Lord, uh, should we uh, sow this seed at our church or to Pastor Solomon? And uh, and I begin to think we all God's children everywhere, regardless of what church you go yeah. to. Yeah. Amen. And then I begin to look at uh, the situations of, uh, you know, of course, not only that he was there for us, but. Lord, like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to place this, this seed? Yeah. Amen. Amen. And not that, not, 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 not doing it, not doing it just uh, uh, um, for show. Sure, but, see. but, but, amen. But my heart began to reach out to him, you know, with passion, compassion, and, amen. and, 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 amen. and, and see this church grow. I saw this church in the spirit. Yeah. Yes. You know, I never been here. And, 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 and he touched, he touched my heart with his spirit too, you know. So God said, so to speak, so to see, you know, my wife and I, you know, we, we both agreed on it. The Lord said, so to see of a thousand dollars. So, uh, and uh, I just say, let's give it to the pastor and stuff. And God, he knows our heart. 
you know, because we are tithers in our church, you know, we're under Pastor Byron Stevenson here in uh, Fort Bend, that's where, that's where we attend church at. And uh, I've been, I tell you, God is good, and I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm singing a choir and evangelizing the gospel, and I just love it, and I ain't turning back. I ain't turning back. Amen. Amen. So uh, I'm under his uh, uh, leadership. Um, I went to seminary school in Albuquerque, New Mexico, under Pastor Rob Corman. I don't know if you, Pastor, I don't know if you ever heard of him, Pastor Rob Corman, but he's an evangelist and he travels all over Africa, all over the world, preaching the gospel. And um, I, I came back here in '98, got ordained as a minister. So and, uh, uh, I didn't know God was going to take me that road, but it happened, and, and, and I love it, and I won't trade it for nothing. Amen. I won't trade it for nothing. Amen. This is a, this is the best thing to have, man. And, and, but anyway, I'm going to be talking about the night. The title of this uh, um, sermon is going to be uh, Christianity is a Faith Walk. Mm -hmm. Christianity is a Faith Walk. Amen. 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 And you know what, saints? We have to have faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is what pleases God. Oh, yes. Amen. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You know, you might not have no money. You might not have the, uh, uh, the car, or, uh, uh, no car, the car that you want or the home yet. You know, you, we just gotta have faith. We have, we have to trust in God. God is an almighty God. Yeah. Amen. He said, I will not withhold no good thing from them that walk upright. Yeah. Psalms 84 and 11. Yeah. Amen. Right. And uh, what is faith? Okay, number one, uh, faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something, okay? And number two, uh, it's a strong belief in God or in doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. Amen. Okay, we know it is impossible to please God without faith, Hebrews 11, 6. Amen. And Hebrews 11, 1 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that is not seen. Amen. You know, um, you know, we can say we have faith, but if we, we don't have works, we got to have faith and works. They both go together. You know, you just can't have one or the other. You know, if, 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 if just like that seed, that seed is, it was a faith walk, you know, and, and God promised, you know, if I, if we sow this, we're going to reap. We, don't, yeah. we, not, we might not reap the money or nothing, but it could be like a healing. Yeah. A, a healing or it yeah. can come in different other forms and stuff like that. You know, things that we've been praying for, it, it could be like one to see a family member healed yeah. or set free yes. from whatever sin they're involved in. Yeah. So it can come back in different forms, yes. you know. You know, uh, and, and, and we just got to be obedient to God. When Amen. God say give, give, you mm -hmm. know, and, and not give grudgingly. Yeah. Not give grudgingly. Yeah. I like yeah. that song. The sister was, we were talking to you, and uh, the song talked about giving. And th that's a blessing. I was listening to that, and that, that's powerful. Because when you give, you, hey, believe me, you, you, you got to trust God. Yeah. That's, that's where all your blessings, all your blessings come from. Amen. Amen. And um, right here it says, uh, uh, James 2 and 14, if you claim to have faith, but no works, it is dead. Mm -hmm. James 2, 14 through 26, if somebody can read that for me. James 14, 2, chapter 2, verse 14 through 26. What does it profit, my brethren? Yeah. If someone says he has faith, yes. but does not have work, mm -hmm. yes. can faith save him? Mm -hmm. Come on. If Everybody. a brother or sister is naked and destitute of food, yes. And one of you says to them, Amen. Part in peace. Yes. Be warmed and filled. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jesus. Do not Lord. give them the things that are needed for right. the body. Yes. What does it profit? What, what does it profit? profit? What does it profit? Come on. Amen. But also by faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. But if someone will say, Yes. You have faith, mm -hmm. and I have works. Mm -hmm. Show me your faith mm -hmm. yes. without your works, mm -hmm. and I will show you my faith mm -hmm. yes. by my works. By my yeah. works. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. By my works. Right. Amen. See, so you got to have works along with faith. Along with faith. Amen. You know, you can. Uh, pastor might ask you, uh, be at the church to uh, come to church to pray for someone. And you might know I don't got the time or uh, you can't find the time to, to do the things that is pleasing to God because you're so preoccupied. Uh, we, we get so preoccupied with our own ambitions and our own motives and whatever we do it. But, uh, you know, we got to take time, amen, to sow seeds in other people's lives. And, and, and not only that, just trust God. And, and, and it's a faith walk. You know, you might not you might not have the financial resources, but 
You know, we just got to pray. Yeah. Pray and believe God. Yeah. Take God in his word. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's awesome, you know, when you just begin to trust God. And then we look at the characters of the Bible. Um, we look at Abraham. Abraham believed God. Yeah. Amen. Right. And, uh, and Abraham, he was accounted uh, 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 to God for righteousness. Yeah. Okay. And he was called the friend of God. Mm -hmm. The friend of God. Amen. Hey man, how would you like to be called a friend of God? Amen. We know God loves us. We know we're children of God, but he was a friend of God. Amen. Even Rahab, let's take Rahab the harlot. Uh, uh, she also, um, she, um, she, um, she hid the, um, the spies, okay? She hid the spies and everything. You know, that was an act of faith, okay? And she received the message uh, and sent them out another way. Hallelujah. That was an act of faith. Look at Moses. Let's take, let's take Moses for an example. Moses was God's chosen man. You know, Moses, uh, you know, Moses had, uh, he had some mistakes, you know, but Moses, he was a man of faith. Amen. And he, he obeyed God and uh, uh, he did what God wanted him to do. He carried out the mission. And Enoch, Enoch walked with God. You know, you know, it takes courage to walk with God. You know, you might go through persecution. People might revile you. Uh, Right. Just whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, but, right. but hey, we got to make a decision. Hey, is we gonna is we gonna cross over or are we gonna we gonna just we gonna fall by the wayside? You know, you know, and um, and then we got uh you know Paul. Paul was a man of God. Paul preached God's word. Amen. And Paul was persecuted. You know, Paul was the chief of all sinners. God got his attention on the road to Damascus. Amen. But amen, he he did God's will. When God, when God gets your attention, believe me, he's going to buckle you in the corner yes. and you're going to have no choice. Yes. <laughs> you can run from him for so long, but believe me, he's going to catch up with you. Right. He's going to catch up with you. Yeah. And God have his own way of setting you down, man. It could be through sickness. It could, it could be through uh, loss of job or just whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Get your attention yeah. up. And, um, uh, and uh, there's three points that I want to uh, want to leave you with. Stay, uh, stay connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, with God. Okay, right. stay connected with God by living a holy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. You know, a holy lifestyle. Yeah. Amen. Even when we miss the mark, we can always go to Him. Yeah. Amen. That's we can right. we can go to Him. Yeah. Uh, no, we have an advocate. Yeah. He promised. He promised to forgive us. He yeah. promised. Yeah. Well, you know, we, First John one nine. If yeah. we confess our sins, yeah. He is faithful and just yeah. to forgive us for our yeah. sins yeah. and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God is not a God that's gonna hold.